Hello, welcome to KiwiWrite Math. We're going to introduce the key features and buttons in KiwiWrite. Math levels 1 and 2 use a grid layout to line up rows and columns for arithmetic problems. Levels 3 and 4 provide access to fractions and higher symbols. Select the level based on the type of math problems you want to do. To switch levels, click the profile icon on the main math page and select Set Math Level. In KiwiWrite, each math problem needs its own space for correct formatting. Always start each new math problem by clicking on the New Problem key. Or in an open slot in the display area. Add lines to problems by typing Enter or clicking the New Line key. To draw a line segment after an arithmetic problem, click the Line Segment key. Move any problem by dragging it. Adjust the font size up or down. Click on a previous problem to work on it again. The L-shaped cursor always shows where the next symbol will be drawn. Move the cursor by clicking within a problem or using the arrow keys. In levels 1 to 2, you can add rows and columns around the problem by using arrow keys or clicking right next to the problem. You can also use the keyboard to enter any single digit keys. Access alternate math symbols contained within math keys with triangles by pressing the key for one second, then clicking on a symbol to select it. To hide the drop-down without selecting anything, click on the gray bar or another key. In levels 1 to 2, use the cross-off key to enter carry or borrow digits. To enter simple fractions within grid-style problems, click this fraction key, then enter a value up to three digits. Then press Enter or the down arrow to move to the bottom half of the fraction. Next, enter your value, then press Enter or the right arrow to finish the fraction. To edit a fraction, click on the box twice, and insert or delete the rightmost digit. To import a worksheet, click the New File icon and select Import File. The imported file will be displayed in the background, and then you can add math on top. KiwiWrite will automatically save your work once a minute to prevent mistakes, but click Save File when you are done working to save all your work. KiwiWrite will display the last file you worked on when you log on, unless you move the file to the Done folder by selecting that option after a print or export, or within the File Open menu. If KiwiWrite displays a file you don't want to work on, open a new file by clicking the New File icon. To turn in your work, you must print or export it to get a downloaded copy. In Level 3, you have a choice of creating line-style problems, which will be explained shortly, or grid-aligned problems such as on Level 2. To switch to creating grid-aligned problems, click this new Grid Problem button to create the first problem. 
KiwiWrite will create grid problems until you switch back by clicking on the Line Style New Problem button or clicking on a prior problem of that type. We will now explain how to create fractions, exponents, and other special format symbols in line style problems in levels 3 and 4. To create a fraction, click the fraction key, or a numerator, and then click the green Go On key or press Enter. This will move you to the next part of the fraction. Then do the same for the denominator. To enter an exponent, enter the number below the exponent, then the exponent sign, then the exponent value, then click the green Go On key or press Enter. KiwiWrite also provides a shortcut node that can be used if entering fractions or exponents with only one digit. To enter shortcut mode, click this key to toggle to showing one yellow box. Then enter a fraction by clicking the fraction key and entering a numerator value, then denominator value. KiwiWrite will advance the cursor automatically after each digit. In levels 3 to 4, other keys with yellow or orange boxes work in a similar way. Great job of starting to learn KiwiWrite!